good evening everyone and welcome to the class of liberalization so in our today's class we are going to discuss about one of the important concept called lpg so have you all come across this word called lpg oh yes sir anyone in the class have you heard about this word word called lpg yes sir where Can you tell me what is the full form of this? Liberalization, privatization, and globalization. Yes. So, liberalization, privatization, and globalization. So, if at all, if you discuss from the point of global marketing management and the international business management, we need to understand the basic concept called LPG, that is, liberalization, privatization, and globalization, because of which. the scope for international business has increased so after lpg reforms came into existence then the foreign company started investing in india then the foreign company started to start their branches or offices here in india they have planned to open their companies they plan to start the companies and their operations in india so this is again a very important topic for every student who is studying international marketing international business management and also global marketing management so whenever we speak about this uh, global marketing or whenever we speak about international business management we need to surely understand about these three concepts so in our today's class now we are going to discuss about uh, the introduction to lpg and we are also going to study the objectives the reforms and impact of liberalization okay l stands for liberalization so we are going to study about the impacts objectives and the implications of this liberalization okay yes okay so now we need to understand the concept of meaning of concept and meaning of lpg okay the first one is that is liberalization so i hope I have, yes the slide show is not visible okay thank you so i hope we have discussed about this topic many times do you all remember we have attended my previous subjects previous classes we have discussed about this lpg concept okay so now before going into depth about lpg first you should understand the introduction to lpg that is the basic introduction when lpg came into existence then what it is called as okay so the economy of india had undergone significant policy shifts in the beginning of 1990s so now the concept of lpg has came into existence in the 1990s madhavi please mute yourself thank you okay and this new model of economic reforms is commonly known as lpg so this is a economical reform which has taken place in india during 1900s okay and lpg is also known as liberalization privatization and globalization model the primary objective of this model was to take was to make the economy of india the fastest developing economy in the globe so why our indian government has implemented this lpg is only because of the fastest the with the they had this objective called they want to develop the economy so we want our indian economy to be called as the fastest developing economy in the world even till now we, many other countries they call uh, india as the fastest developing economy the biggest developing economy so that was the only reason why this lpg was come into picture and the concept of liberalization globalization and privatization are actually closely related to one to one so now you should understand all these three all these three factors or all these three concepts are related to each other so that's why we study in continuation first we should understand what is liberalization next privatization and next globalization okay and the lpg phenomenon was 
first initiated in the Indian economy in 1990. It was initiated in which year? In the year 1990. And when the Indian economy exp experienced a severe crisis, at that time, the government decided to introduce the new industrial policy. We call it as NIP. So the new industrial policy in which year? In the year 1991, that is to start liberalizing the Indian economy. So now, what has happened here? They started liberalizing everything. Now everything in the sense I'm speaking from the point of trade. I'm speaking from the point of rules and regulations. I'm speaking from the point of the restrictions. Okay. Everything was liberalized. Okay. So in the year 1990, they have been initiated this. And in the year 1991, as a part of a new industrial policy, this LPG was implemented. Is it clear, my dear students? Yes, sir. Okay. The chain of reforms that took place with regards to business. So now you can see where are the changes taken place. The reforms that took place with regards to business, with regards to manufacturing, with regards to financial service industries targeting at lifting the economy of the country. So right from business to services, everything was included in this new industrial policy. And these economic reforms that had influenced the overall economic growth of the country in a systematic manner. So this is what we call it as the LPG. So coming down to some of the highlights of the LPG. So what are the highlights? So some of the salient features or highlights of the privatization that is the LPG in Indian in India, that is, the first one is Foreign Technology Agreements. Foreign Investment Act 1969 was amended. The first one is MRTP Act. Have you heard about MRTP Act? Mm -hmm. Have you heard about Yes. No. No. So this is again, which is related to the tax and also the foreign uh, trade, okay? I'll, I'll tell you all this, what are this MRTP acts and all other things. And next one is, so the first one was foreign technology agreement. The second one was a foreign investment act, that is MRTP act. And the next one is industrial licensing deregulation. See, earlier there were many rules and regulations which were stopping the foreign companies to enter into Indian market. But now we have deregulated these licensing process. And this is what we call it as the beginning of a privatization. Okay. Opportunities for overseas trade steps to regulate inflation tax reforms and abolition of license that is permit. So there were many things which we have, which have been taken place. The first one is uh, speaking about the foreign technology. The second one was speaking about the implementation of MRTP Act. The third one was again industrial license deregulation. That is nothing but again deregulating many factors which are uh, which we which we call them as hindrances or which are stopping them. Uh, the foreign companies to enter into the Indian market. And we have also considered that is opportunities for overseas trade steps. So overseas nothing but when you cross the boundary of the country, we call them as overseas. So now there are many opportunities to do business with many other foreign countries. So that is the thing. And the next one is we have also regulated inflammation or inflation tax reforms. So previously there was even the concept called a license. So we have abolished the license and permit system. So all these things were taken place in LPG. So now whenever we speak about MRTP, any guesses, my dear students? What is MRTP, the full form of MRTP? Aishi? No, sir. Okay. Aishi, you are there? Okay, fine. MRTP stands for monopoly. Yes, sir. MRTP. 
MRTP means Monopoly and Restrictive Trade Practice Act. Yes, monopoly, that is monopolistic and yes. restrictive trade practices act. So now you can understand by the word itself. We call it as a monopoly. What do you mean by monopoly? Monopoly. Hmm. Uh, it yes, yes, go ahead. Anyone, no problem. Sir, it means one seller and number of buyers. There are many number of buyers, but there is only one seller. Hello. Yes, sir. Monopoly. When there is only one seller, he fixes his own prices. He yes. sells whatever is available to him. He sells whatever he likes. Okay. There is no concept of consumer needs and wants. So there are no concept about uh, other things. So there is no competition existing. So to restrict all these practices, trade practices, that is monopolistic practices, they have come up with LPG. That means they are indirectly encouraging the competition in the market. Okay. So this is what we call it as the highlights. Okay. So these are the things which are taken place in the LPG. And now coming back to liberalization, the first concept of this model is liberalization. Okay. So what do you mean by liberalization? Liberalization refers to the slackening of government regulations. So now can you see my screen? Yes, sir. So liberalizing the government regulations, regulations of what? Regulations related to the trade. Regulations related to the international trade. Regulations related to the import and export rules and regulations. In all these concepts, the government has liberalized. Okay. The economic liberalization in India denotes the continuing financial reforms which began since July 24th, 1991. Okay. So do you remember under whom leadership is it was implemented in India? Anyone from the class? Yes, Dr. Manohan Singh. Yes. During the time, Dr. Manmohan Singh was the finance minister of India. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes. Whom in, in, uh, who, in which cabinet he was working? Under which cabinet? Who was the prime minister at that time? Yes? Indira, Indira Gandhi. Indira Gandhi? Yes. Rajiv Gandhi. Rajiv Gandhi, according to Joseph, it is Rajiv Gandhi. Sir, according to you? Okay. Swadesh Naranji? Indira Gandhi, I think, sir. Indira Gandhi, fine. Ayushi? Fine. Without wasting the time, I'll tell you. During the time... P. V. Narasimha was the Prime Minister of India. Okay, okay, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Under the leadership of P. V. Narasimha Rao and Dr. Manmohan Singh, the government of India has led the foundation for this new economic policy. Under this new economic policy, they have liberalized all these trade-related restrictions. And because of those, I can say... This is one of the important factor because of that today what we are enjoying is only because of that LPG to some extent I can really say that it was a very great initiative taken by PV Narsimhara and by Dr. Manmohan Singh. Okay, because of those people's initiativeness and because of this LPG today we all are enjoying this um, uh, what I can say this uh, economic condition is only because of their futuristic ideas okay and you can say that liberalization means elimination of state control over economic activities now my dear students you all should understand state is referring to a country here okay previously it was called it is the country is also called as a state 
Is it clear? And it implies that greater autonomy to the business enterprises in decision making and the removal of government interference. So now what has happened? The, the, the business enterprises are very much free enough to take their own decisions. That is again how? Because of the removal of government interference in this business activities. And it was believed that the market forces of demand and supply would automatically, automatically operate to bring down or bring about a greater efficiency and the economy would recover. So now whenever the government interference is very less, whenever there is privatization concept prevailing in the industry, that means again there is a greater efficiency. For what? To increase the economic condition of the country, to increase the trade relationship between many countries or between two or more countries, to increase the important export relationship with other great and developed economies. So this was the idea behind implementing this LPG. And this was to be done internally by introducing reforms in the real and financial sectors of economic, sorry, economy, and externally by relaxing the state control on foreign investments and trades. So internally, you need to take care of all the financial related matters. And externally, you need to relax. That is nothing but allowing the foreign companies to come and invest in our country. What we call it as foreign direct investment. Okay. So this is what we call it as liberalization. Clear my dear students. The next topic is all about the objectives. See every concept comes with objective. Correct. You all are there. Yes, sir. My screen, is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Okay. The important objectives of this LPG, that is, as we are discussing about liberalization only, the first one is to boost up the competition between domestic businesses. So now, you are not only building up the relationship with the foreign countries and not only encouraging the Indian companies to participate and to start their companies in foreign countries, but also you are boosting up the competition level between the domestic players or the domestic businesses. Okay. The next one is to promote foreign trade and regulate imports and exports. So now it is very important for our economy to grow. So there are few factors which are very important. One of the, one of the important factors is again foreign exchange. That is the foreign currency coming into the country that is funds inflow. Okay, so for this, the objective, the main objective of liberalization is again to promote the foreign trade. Trade, foreign trade is nothing but the buying and selling of goods and services takes between two countries. So we call it as foreign trade. So you are doing a trade. What is trade? Trade is nothing but buying and selling of goods with another country. That is what we call it as foreign country. And we are also regulating the imports and exports. Okay. So this new economic policy, new industrial policy is also regulating the liberalization is also regulating the imports and the exports. Okay. I hope you all know what is import and export, right? Okay. To develop a global market of a country. So now earlier what we used to do is we used to concentrate only on our local and national market. So earlier we used to sell the goods and services to the national or to the local customers. Now being a company after implementation of this LPG reforms now world is my market, globe is my market. Worldwide customers are equally important along with my domestic customers. So here I am to satisfy the local customers or we call them as domestic customers. Along with that, now I'm supposed to satisfy the global customers whom I'm planning to target on. So now, for example, if you are doing business with one or two countries, it is your duty to identify the needs and wants of those uh, customers of those countries and produce the goods and services accordingly and serve them and satisfy them. Okay. So now 
being a company i want to extend my business to many countries now my market is global market my customers are available at worldwide okay and next one is to reduce the debt burden of the country so we all are aware that yes country has taken loans from different international institutions like international monetary fund world bank right whenever we concentrate whenever we try to improve the economic condition of the country it is nothing but again it can also reduce the burden that is yes you need to repay whatever has been taken by the government but how it is going to reduce the burden not to take any more loans further you need to make sure that your economic condition should become stable right and the next one is to unlock the economic potential of the country by encouraging the private sector and also multinational corporations to invest and expand so now you are also inviting the foreign countries to invest in our national businesses or to invest in our country so through this what is happening we are promoting our country and also making sure that our economic condition is increasing or developing so how it is possible it is possible only by encouraging the private sector and the multinational corporations to come into india or to indian market now if at all if you go to market today you will find all international companies in india all international brands in india correct you name any product there are international brands available in india that means yes the liberalization has worked out the lpg concept has really worked out today we can see our honorable prime minister of india is traveling many countries so that we can he can get some business out of those countries recently he has signed even a deal with russia right so now he is trying all the best to increase our country's economic condition okay that is now you might have seen the concept of privatization as prevailing in india right now does anyone know about this all the government undertakings are being privatized have you all come across any such kind of news yes sir yes 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 airport authority of india privatized yes. correct so there are many sectors which are going to be privatized in near future which will help the indian economy to grow and next one is to encourage the private sector to take the active part in development process so now we want all the companies to take part in the development process of the country the next one is to reduce the role of public sector in future industrial development so public sector is referring to government sector so now they want to reduce the role of the government sector that is in industrial development that means they do they want totally uh, they are speaking about the privatization concept the next one is to introduce more competition into the economy with the aim of increasing efficiency so now they want to create more competition that is the domestic company should compete with the international companies that is what is happening in india right now not only in india in many developing countries so through this because of this international companies coming into the country even our domestic goods and services or our domestic service providers are trying to compete with them by producing qualitative goods and services so these are some of the objectives of the liberalization is it clear my dear 